her life is, is a bit different than the normal boxer. I mean, she has three children, she's married. She works out during the day, she teaches classes, fitness classes, and then she comes to practice at night again. <laughs> Whitney's the first female ever from Oregon to go to the Olympic trials. So this is a big deal. You know, it's, it's not like, uh, it's not the district championship or the state championship. This is, this is the, to make the Olympic team. Just to imagine being there and walking into opening ceremonies and just that feeling and the energy, it sometimes is a super overwhelming feeling, but in a good way. Oh, don't lick it. No, 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 no. Did you just lick it? Try it. No. no, don't try it. Don't lick it. It's been four years since Whitney Hollywood Gomez was boxing at the Olympic trials in Louisiana, fighting to make the U.S. Olympic team before falling just short and having her lifelong dream shattered. Heartbreaking. Almost made me feel lost for a while. You're poopy? Okay, per good. perfect timing. Come here. These days, life looks a little different for the now 36-year-old. Put it up against the window and trace it. There was an eight-year gap, but in 2021, she had her fourth child. Set. At the end of 2022, she had surgeries on both her hips. I had to like learn how to walk on the leg again, and my glute muscles were shut off. Her leg is dead weight and you're going to lift up. A lot of tears, a lot of pain. Hollywood Gomez became Teacher Gomez as she decided to stick with homeschool post-pandemic. The youth had tried desperately to carry out his father's wishes and become a doctor. And lastly, with the writing on the wall, she let her Olympic dreams die, her hips and health, forcing her to hang up the gloves and transition into coaching. You're coming in, you're landing a few, but then you're just taking a bunch. So you gotta ba 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 and then move and then ba ba ba. When I asked her in April if it was over for good, she left the door cracked, but only barely. I don't think I'm done, but I also am okay if that is what comes to be. If you stand in front, you get caught. But then in June, driving home after a coaching session, Gomez had a change of heart. I just felt like, you know what, this is stupid. I'm boxing again, like this, I can't not have that be part of my life. She didn't care that she was 36. She didn't care that her hips weren't cooperating or that everyone was going to tell her she couldn't or was crazy. She decided that she didn't want to be a former boxer. She wanted to be a current boxer. I told Richard, if you're on board and you'll help me get ready, that's what I want to do. One, two, left hook, right hand, left hook, right hand. The dream wasn't dead. It was on life support, and against all odds, it was about to be revived. I didn't see it coming, but it, I'm not surprised by it either. It's one thing to say it, but it's an entirely different thing to do it. Gomez was just two years removed from having her fourth baby, only seven months removed from those hip surgeries. She couldn't squat, she couldn't pivot, she'd gained weight, and she wasn't in boxing shape. At the beginning of June, I weighed 170 pounds. And so I, by July, was 160 pounds, so I still had like 15 pounds to lose. To make matters more difficult, she had only six weeks to train for a last chance qualifier. An event like the name suggests, the last chance to qualify for the Olympic trials. I had to do cardio every day on top of boxing, you know, four to five days a week, and strength training four to five days a week. You only get so many chances in life, and uh, if you don't do it, if she didn't do it, then three years from now she'll be regretting it, so, yeah. Go to the body! Go! Uppercut hook! Uppercut hook! So it hard! Hollywood was back, and she wrote her Hollywood ending, punching her ticket once again to the Olympic trials. If you would have asked me four or five months ago, would I get to this point, I would have laughed in your face. 
She was already the first woman in Oregon to ever make it to the trials. And now she's the first to make it twice. It's a feat in life that um, most boxers you don't see, either male or female. I mean, it's, it's, there's very few that do that. A million to one. The odds Vegas or anyone would have given Whitney to be where she is now. What she overcame in the last four years, you know, uh, she had two hip injuries, a neck injury, uh, she had another child, and uh, to come back from that, it's, a, it's, it's quite, quite, quite the story, yeah, yeah. Win or lose, she's already beat the odds and written a comeback story for the ages. I honestly thought I would never be able to get back to this point. My body would never let me. But it's all about your mindset, right? You can have these huge stumbling blocks and these huge like, roadblocks in your way, but if you can change your mind, I swear you can like, just bulldoze them right out of the way. In Bend, Eric Lindstrom, Central Oregon Daily News.